I think f for me it's, um, it's always been about, you know, I like telling stories. When I was a child, I liked telling stories. And I think kind of being able to be so part of that, which is what you get to do as an actor, is, is great. It's just like playing a game, really, and that's fun. I don't think there's any ever like any one thing, but I think there, it has, there has to be something that I, for me, that I can kind of relate to in a, I guess, humane way. But um, I th yeah, I, I kind of, I'm open to anything really. I think it, as long as there's an interesting arc and, if it, and what's really fun to do as an actor is something that's transformative or as far away as, as far away from Josh as possible. That's always really exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm kind of. There's one thing that I look for, but just a really good story with really detailed characters. Really, it very much depends on the pro like project to project. But um, certainly with God's Own Country, uh, it was a case of um, huge kind of in-depth character study to, to up until the point of page one of our film um, of the screenplay. So going back to where he was born, um, what, you know, what his relationship with his parents was like, what happened to his mother, um, without his mother there, what, what, how has that influenced his life, his friendships, his first sexual experiences, his first kind of meaningful relationships, and sort of discovering, um, discovering all that information and putting all that together. So you've got this database. Um, before you start. So for me, it's, it's all about having that analysis of a character so that day one, when you step on set, you feel that you can embody it as best as, as possible. And it's the most, for me, it's the most exciting part of the process is being able to create that, that character and you have free reign. You know, Alec and I, uh, Alec who plays Georgi, th um, the chemistry was there from day one. And that's, that doesn't always, it's not always the case. Um, but Alec and I got on very well from the beginning. We had a process that we wanted to, to carry out on this film. Francis had a very clear vision of what this film was going to be. And the chemistry between Francis, Alec and I, and Joshua Richards, the, um, uh, the DP, was phenomenal. And I do think that's absolutely, I think that's vital in any kind of storytelling um, world or any arts, I guess, is when you have a collaboration where we all have an end goal and we all have a, um, an idea of what we want to achieve and how we want to achieve it. Uh, yeah, we certainly had that on this, I think. There were lots of moments along the way where I thought, uh, you know, you'd sort of surprise yourself. And I'm still being surprised and happily surprised by how people are responding to the film. But there was a moment when we went to Sundance and Francis, Alec and I were on a bus just going from screening to screening or to party to party to press interview to, you know, doing all the things that you have to do at Sundance. And we were on this bus in the middle of Utah, you know, prime t Trump territory. And this, uh, this old lady just started talking to us and we just had this very open conversation about various things. She asked where we, why we were in Utah and we said we're here for a film festival, which she seemed to have no idea was going on, which is bizarre. Um, and she eventually came to see our film out of the blue. She's not a f she wasn't a cinema fan. She wasn't um, you know, the kind of person who would go to a Sundance screening. And she came up to us afterwards in tears and the film had affected her so significantly. And for me, that was, I think that was the most significant moment because the wonderful reviews and the wonderful response from film critics or cinema goers or cinema lovers is one thing, but for this general public who might not go and see a film like this full stop to respond that way was really powerful. As an actor, my biggest challenge is the concept of unemployment, which is, I think, probably the biggest challenge for any actor. Um, and I, I guess, again, it's, it's, a, it's a thing of like, you know, understanding that that is an aspect of our, of our work and to remain creative and find ways of um, having an outlet is the best, best thing that I've kind of learned. And uh, yeah, just to keep going as long as you, you know, you believe that the right stories are going to come along. And if they don't come along, then write them yourself. You have to kind of trust your gut a little bit. You know, the, S scripts come through and 
a lot of the time, you know, you, you'll be, as an actor, you're, sp you're spending a lot of time learning lines, going to meetings, doing a meeting, not really knowing whether you're, you've done a good job or not. And I think the, the, the advice I guess I wish I'd had is not to beat yourself up when, it's, when, you're, when you're not hitting it and when you're not nailing it, because probably it's not the right project for you and that doesn't mean you're a bad actor, it just means it's not the right project. And when the right project does come along, um, you, your gut will, will, will sense it. I love film, and so there's plenty of, you know, I could list hundreds of films that I adore and that I'm sure I've stolen stuff from or st kind of um, tried to replicate at some point in my career. For, for me, the thing that really excites me is, is um, again, is, is a good story and relationship on screen. I think something that's in our film, which I kind of almost didn't know was important to me until doing this film is hope. And that doesn't have to be as, um, as clear as it is in this film, but I just think any remnants of hope in any story is very important to me because I think it's so invaluable in our world and especially currently. So maybe hope is something that I you know, grasp onto.